And now for a real vlog. <laughs> yeah, I just thought I would do that random April Fool's Day video. The, ba the basic idea of this April Fool's was to make like the most boring videos that I could possibly make. It's, it's one of those things of, hey, just, Justin made another video. It's going to be awesome. Let's watch. Uh, and that was basically the idea behind it. I don't know how it actually went over. I didn't really check much of the comments last night about it because I uploaded the, the watch paint dry one last night and the uh, watch grass grow one is going to be coming up soon. And uh, oh yeah, needless to say, I finally got a haircut. Looks a ton better. <laughs> it was horrendous before. It was it was like a fluffy mop top puff on my head or something like that. Anyway, the snow is mostly melted now. So now things have been revealed to us, so to speak, of what we gotta do in the spring. And take a look at this stuff here. If you go to the end of our driveway here, and look at all this. See all this junk that's piled up over here? This is all basically pieces of the road and pavement that the plows were scraping out of the road here. See how cracked up the road is over here? Yeah! This is where it's all coming from and it's on the lawn. I am not looking forward to raking that up. <laughs> So, yeah, basically what happens is that you gotta rake it down back to the end of the driveway here. We pretty much have to do this every year, but this looks like the worst year yet for this. And the, re the reason why is because it kind of hinders the grass from popping back up when there's so many dense stones. You know, it kind of leaves patches and stuff like that. And look over here. Look at this spot in the lawn. See how it's like carved out? This was done by the plows. Yeah, when they pushed the snow up onto the lawn, because, you know, there was not much more room to put the snow, so they just decided to push it back, they sort of dug into the lawn. And not just dug into, I'm talking about, like, three inches dug into the lawn. I don't even know where the rest of the grass is. Maybe, maybe some of this stuff right here is the missing grass in question. I don't know. <laughs> but it's certainly piled up. It, look, it looks like some sort of giant's divot or something like that on a golf course like a giant hit their ball right into our fairway and just whoosh right across <laughs> you get the idea and it's all the way down here yeah that's not gonna be too good and we got some trash hanging out in the bushes there that we're gonna have to clean up as well And on the other side, it's not quite as bad. This is still in the front lawn here, front yard here. It's it's still kind of on the lawn, but it's not nearly as prominent as it was on the other side. So, yeah, it's, it'll still take a bit of work, but still very, very doable. And it's a huge chunk right here. <laughs> what am I? I've just been talking about rocks laying on the lawn for like the past five minutes. This is like the worst video ever. It's like the watching grass grow video. Maybe this should be the next grass growing video or watching paint dry video. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just being lame today. I just thought I would like recap on the things that I forgot to say in the last one basically. Oh and I'm also trying out the image stabilization in the camera this time. I didn't know this one had image stabilization but it's only for video for whatever the reason it is, but it seems to work pretty good compared to how shaky my video was before, but I'm not sure if that was me or if that was just because I was walking on unsteady terrain, so to speak. Like when I walked in the backyard here, I would, well, that, that, that was because I just jumped up a step there, but yeah. <laughs> And up here is a bridge, and back to the backyard here. But basically when I was back here before, it was like really, really uneven for some reason. I think it was because in the winter time when the ground freezes, it freezes the ground and, well, I just said that. And it makes it like puff up in multiple places and it feels like really, really lumpy and hard. So... It's like you're expecting to walk on a level plane, and it's not that level. <laughs> so, yeah. That's basically what happened last time. And I, I probably could have been more steady with the camera last time, but eh. 
Oh, and there appears to be a little bit of trouble going on with the uh, gamers on YouTube. If you didn't notice, like some gamers such as Raukow or Cloud8745 who are partnered got a load of their videos either removed or privated. In the case of Cloud8745, it was removed, or excuse me, X Cloud 8745 x But you should know that by now if you know his channel. But anyway, uh, th something about YouTube and them being worried about game copyright or copyright being in game videos or whatever. They're like cracking down on partners or something like that. And what, what they're basically doing, I don't know if they're like feeling the heat from some companies or something like that, which is why they're doing this to begin with, because obviously gaming isn't a problem, and Cloud wasn't profiting off of his game videos, because he got a partnership without getting uh, partnerships through like Machinima or the Game Station. So he, so he shouldn't have been hit by that, simply for the fact that he, you know, he wasn't, really breaking any copyright problems because because you know when you don't profit off a game video that means that you don't you don't stray away from the fair use thing so that's why I think he shouldn't have been hit by that uh, as for Raukow he got a partnership through Machinima and he still got hit by that um, but Machinima protected him by putting his videos that YouTube marked as being potentially copyright uh, infringement videos. They got. They made some sort of system that detects it. It's lame-o, lame-o. And um, it, it marks videos that basically don't deserve it. So, Raukal's archive of like 1,600 some videos on his channel went down to like 250 because the majority of them went, went private. And Machinima privated the videos they found out and, I should say he found out and that was to protect Raukal from YouTube. So maybe getting a gamer channel partnered isn't such a good thing nowadays, or at least for now. I don't know, I mean, it, it could happen to any channel that's partnered, or any channel that's a game channel that's partnered, whatever. It just seems like that YouTube's going after game channels that are partnered, and no other partner channels. So that's why I think that they're feeling the heat from some companies worried about that. That maybe their partners are profiting off the videos even though they're not. <laughs> so then YouTube made that system and just kind of like made it really quickly and it really screwed up a lot of things for a lot of people. But I, I guess in a way it kept the partner or gaming partners of YouTube more protected from the companies themselves in a way, but at the same time, when you're a partnered YouTube channel, you're actually supposed to, I mean, when you're a partnered YouTube channel, excuse me, you're your own business. So, I don't really know why YouTube would be responsible for such a thing, because they're the ones, I mean, you're the ones that are uploading stuff that companies might not like. You know, if you're a partnered YouTube YouTube gaming channel, excuse me, so, I don't know. Uh, I guess, it's, as I said, it's a good thing that my YouTube channel never got partnered, my game channel never got partnered, because I might be dealing with that right now, and people not, might not be able to watch the 700 plus videos I have on my channel, and I think that would suck. <laughs> I mean, if, I, like, as I'm a subscriber to Raukow, Every once in a while I go back and watch some of his older videos that I like, then, well, I can't do that right now, and I would expect that people who are subscribed to me would feel like they would want to do the same every once in a while, you know, got old memories and stuff like that. But, yeah, that's uh, the situation on YouTube with gamers, and I think I've been rambling on here long enough about that, so I think it's a good time to end it off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.